Okay, I don't know if this is just me or if everyone else in this world has wondered how do offshore oil rigs even get built? Like, has that ever, like, crossed your mind on, like, how these things are actually constructed? Because I've been wondering that for a little bit now. And I just found out, like, maybe not too long ago. It's very interesting. Like, it's pretty damn interesting. Like, hold up. I'm drawing just kind of like a little shitty Microsoft Paint explanation of how these things work. So, alright, let's start off with how these pillars are built. So, most of the time an oil rig has four legs, right? And that's to just keep its structure on. So, they are actually built in a cylinder like this. Yeah, pretend this goes back like, you know, 400 meters because that's how much you need to stick into the surface. So these things are built cylinders because when you are trying to withstand the pressure of the water, you know, you got to withstand every thing that goes into it like that because you got crashing waves like this isn't just like your calm average pond. This is the ocean, damn it. You have got waves crashing up on here. You got to find something to withstand that. The sphere is the best way to do that. How is the sphere the best or not the sphere? The cylinder is the best way to do that. How is the cylinder the best way to do that? Well, when you got water crashing up from here to here, you know, every single bit of this, it's getting hit and it's kind of dispersing all of the pressure from it which is wacky i mean like i already knew that it did that and i know that's why they're made of cylinders because it's just even distribution of weight and pressure but these things are way larger than you think they are they're 400 meters long because well i mean like ex they kind of have to be 400 meters long. You know why? Because you're trying to fit this damn thing all the way down to the sea floor, which is like right here. So we'll we'll just make a little makeshift sea floor here, and then we'll uh, you know put it in. So that's our sea floor there, right? So the sea floor, it's pretty much all mud, and muck, and shit like that. So what they do is if we take this uh here's our this is sil this is a cylinder they have a 400 meter you know piece like this so they got this right they load it and tug it by boat so this is our little boat right here you know you get the steam tower and everything you know woo so this is our boat here. This thing, obviously not upright, but it is lugged into the water. And then it is placed somewhere in here. And it is just supposed to sink down like this into the sea floor. And then the suction of the sea floor is what keeps it up. Like what? Like, alright, so these things are obviously dug deep into the sea floor, but what's mainly holding it up is the suction from in it, and that's why it's not tipping over. And then when you got like four, or sometimes even more of these pillars in here, it keeps it up. And then, you know, the football field fucking platform up top is what's holding it all together. So then you got this giant ass structure here. So let's, uh, let's make that. So then you just got things like this, you know, you got one leg, two leg. This should probably be in the, you know, in the, uh, sea floor like that. But, uh, you get the point, you know, we'll move our sea floor up a little bit. So they got those in there in the sea floor and everything. And the suctions was holding it up and then up top. They have the platform here, which, you know, houses the, uh, I don't know, is it called an oil derrick? I don't know. But you get, like, the whole, like, facility thing up here. All that. That's your, uh, 
That's our oil uh, drilling well offshore oil rig here. So, another thing that I found very interesting that I bet you didn't know. These things are designed to move. That's right. They fucking float. That is terrifying. These things can be as tall as the Eiffel Tower. And they float. Like, you straight up pick this thing out the water and you can move it. Th that's wild. Because these, uh, these things right here, these pillars, they're completely hollow on the inside. You can take a lift to 300 meters down below the ocean in one of these things. You can go to the sea floor in one of these things by a lift. And then if they say, oh, well, there is no oil here because, I mean, let's be honest. You know, I don't think that, well, I mean, mapping our, our area out to look for oil, though our technology is advanced, it isn't always 100% right. So these things are designed to move because these cost about, like, what, $690 million to make one of these things? Like, if there's no oil there, what, you just wasted $600 million to build a fucking rig and you're just gonna do nothing about it? No, you're gonna pick that shit up and you're going to move it somewhere else where there possibly is oil. I don't know, that's just wild to me, but... Now you know how an oil rig is built and how it works because once you get these, uh, once you get the pillars on here, it's pretty much, you know, boat comes over with more materials and then the platform and everything is probably assembled on land and then everything is built on the platform. And it's pretty self-explanatory once you get in the platform and everything because then that's just another bit of land that you can build on. But yeah, these things are just straight up suction down into the water they can move i didn't know that until a little bit ago anyway that's my video for today so thanks for watching hope you learned something about oil rigs because i sure as hell did all right have a great day everyone